Hello Clippers, I am once again back to give you your weekly dose of news and updates. I am your host Trojan Santiago and you are watching Trending Clips. So guys, if you're into those cell phone applications of ride hailing services or just simply an iPhone tech savvy, then this week's episode of Trending Clips is most definitely for you. So without further ado, here are the top stories of the week. Uber pays 190 million peso fine to lift suspension. Duterte signs law on stiffer fines and penalties under revised penal code. And Apple expected to unveil new iPhone this month. Ride sharing company Uber Systems Incorporated on Tuesday, August 29, 2017 paid its 190 million peso fine before the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board, or LTFRB, lift its one-month suspension. Uber representatives settled the fine Tuesday afternoon at the LTFRB office through a check payment. The transport regulator last week said Uber, which was suspended on August 14, may resume operations if it paid a 190 million peso fine. Aside from the fine, the LTFRB also ordered Uber to pay 19.9 million pesos daily to its partner drivers, which the LTFRB said was based on Uber's own manifestation that they would extend financial assistance to its drivers until its services are restored. Uber was suspended two weeks ago for allegedly defying a moratorium on accepting new drivers. The company earlier offered to pay 10 million pesos to lift the order. However, the LTFRB on Sunday said the 190 million peso fine was based on the remaining 19 days of the suspension order multiplied by Uber's average daily income of 10 million pesos. President Rodrigo Duterte on Wednesday signed into law the Republic Act 10951, amending the revised penal code. The new law updates fines provisions under the revised penal code which have been unchanged since it was enacted more than eight decades ago. The law adjusts fines as well as the amount of the value of the property and damage on which a penalty is set. Among the adjustments made were in the identification of penalties as afflictive penalty if it exceeds 1.2 million pesos, correctional penalty if it does not exceed 1.2 million pesos but not less than 40,000 pesos, and light penalty if it be less than 40,000 pesos. The law also adjusts fines imposed on crimes under the revised penal code. For example, the fine for the crime of treason has been adjusted to not more than 400,000 pesos for both Filipino citizens and foreigners residing in the Philippines instead of 20,000 pesos as prescribed under the code. The new law also punishes the publication of any false news which may endanger the public order or cause damage to the interests or credit of the state. Penalty for such crime is imprisonment for a month and a day to six months and a fine of 40,000 pesos to 200,000 pesos. The law's author, Senator Franklin Drillon, earlier said that amending the revised penal code would benefit some 50,000 convicted prisoners who would likely be released or have their sentences reduced. The company sent out invitations on August 31, 2017, that's Thursday, to set September 12, that is Friday, September 13, Manila time, as the date for an annual post-Labor Day showcase. As usual, the famously secretive Apple didn't say what's on tap, but this is typically when the company unveils new iPhones. Much of the anticipation is swirling around whether Apple will show off a dramatically different time type of iPhone with a sleeker and even bigger screen to celebrate the device's 10th anniversary. 
Even if a fancier version is unveiled, Apple will also likely announce upgrades to last year's iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. It's Apple's first event at the Steve Jobs Theater at its new headquarters in Cupertino, California. Apple's invitation seemed to hint that something colorful is in store as it presented a multi-hue depiction of the company's famous logo. That choice will likely spur speculation that Apple's new phone will feature a screen with organic light emitting diode or OLED which will display more vivid colors than previous models. Rival phones from Samsung already use OLED. There have also been reports that the company intends to show off an upgrade to its Apple TV streaming box that will be capable of handling ultra-high definition or 4K video. And now it's time for us to wrap up the show. That's it for this week's episode of Trending Clips. But again, before I go, if you personally like this edition of Trending Clips, I encourage you to follow us on our social media platforms. That's facebook.com slash clip.tv. On Instagram, you can follow us at cliptvph. And on Twitter, I encourage you to click that blue button at clip underscore TV or just subscribe on our official YouTube channel at Clip TV for the hottest news and updates. I am your host, Rojan Santiago, and this has been Trending Clips. Thank you.